thing I want to look at is how to plot your survey plan into Revit. So I will, I've been given a survey plan, if you look at the survey plan. But I noticed there was an error because this 321 degrees and this 321 degrees couldn't be, are not on the same line. But So I guess the, the survey made an error and I guess the error was from this line. Now I want to plot this survey plan. I can easily do that using Revit. Let me show you. Make sure you're on your site. I dragged this image from where the light is into Revit just by clicking and dragging and you have the image in Revit. So that is very easy to do. So um, this image is in Revit. I click on Martin and Site here. I'm on my site plan. And I click on Martin and Site. And then I click on this small button here, Site Settings, just to make sure this is in degrees. And this unit is in degrees, minutes, and second, or decimal degrees, depending on what the survey plan was plotted in. Click OK. And then you click on Property Line. There are two options that comes up. You click on Create by entering distances and bearings. Since you have all your distances and bearings, then this dialog box comes up. So all you need to do is to impute the data from this survey plan into this dialog box, one after the other. So it's a little bit tedious, but um, since this site is not that complex, I can easily do it. I'm going to start with this this line I'm sure of, so that I will end with the line I'm not sure of. So you need to start just close to the line, and it's always good to go to go left to right. So this is what we've indicated here. So I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to end up here. So let's immediately do that. This distance is 16.35 meters, and the angle is 321 and 41, 49. So I'm just going to enter that in millimeters. So that's 16,315 millimeters. And uh, the angles, I'll just replicate them here. I don't normally delete all these things. I just select them and change uh, dimensions. There. After I've done that, you click on Insert, and then you go to the next one to the right. And this is 24.4 meters. That's 24,447. So the next thing I want to do now, due to the fact that we don't know this angle, but we know it closes, you can just click on this final line, add line to close, and it's going to generate this final distance. So this is actually the correct distance that the survey on this 10.7 meters. Once you click on OK, the survey plan comes up. You can see the survey plan, and it's left for you to just place it on your site. Easy as that. Just to confirm this, I can actually leave these lines here to see if they if they align with my survey plan to a certain degree, which they very much did. This is how to plot your survey plan in Revit. You dimension it to confirm that those things. Under modify, click on dimension. I can use use your tab button to press at the edges to get the edge line and draw references. And then you use your tab to get. So I just want to measure two of these distances. This is 24.4 meters and this is 18.35 meters. So if I zoom in here, you can see the dimensions and you can see the dimensions. So this is the very easy way to plot your site in Revit. Once you plot your site in Revit, the site appears in every other view in Revit, which is a very good thing. So you don't need to start copying the site all around. So, see you soon. Take care. Ciao.